Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV. Today we are going to be racing here at New Hampshire. And yes, that is some of the Dan with yet another pole sitting position in that number 63 Roach Racing Dodge. Um, it's actually pretty good because he's been getting a couple that I believe this is the second one of the season, could be third. Um, nonetheless, great uh, way to start this race after a barrel roll last week from the, and the guy who uh, knocked him sideways in that is starting right next to him. So, potentially good start to the race for both these cars. Uh, Thunder 24 fan and some Dan. You got Ian Stiles, who's been in a really rough patch. He actually flipped at Kansas. In fact, I believe the top four, maybe five, did not finish last week. So, where they're starting here today and where they may finish is very crucial. Eric Monaco starting sixth, by the way. Um, and then, we talked about... Uh, point situation. So right now, uh, Shred just took the points lead. He's a new points leader, but starting right next to the Eric, uh, Eric Monaco in sixth is some, uh, not some day, Frank Chilton in number four. And he is he's still back a little bit in standings, but don't count him out. Um, if you run today, he could get right back in the mix. Then you got Melinda Jones in the 58, who's been pretty consistent, just finished uh, third or second last race, can't remember. Eric Monaco is under the radar, just needs some good consistency going. This is a great place to start. Azriel Dreamer, not really uh, not really been up front much. This is a great race to do that. And then Ryan Cole, this is the I wanna say I'll say this much, he's been very consistent lately, so uh he may be a uh if he keeps it up, he could start charging for the round of sixteen and Pox has been fairly consistent as well, staying around that round of sixteen area. He's starting just outside the top ten. And if you see a few other guys who could use a good run today as well, uh, and some that, uh, like Jeremy Frey, who's kind of in a solidified spot, but not really. And then guys like Monster, Nimrod, who need uh, a Hog, need a really good race, and Aztec Levet kind of flirting with that uh, cut line as well. They got, uh, again, new points leader, uh, 73 of Shred. They start mid pack. Um, we could potentially see. Another points lead change, but I wouldn't bet money on it. Zigzagoon has been in a rough patch lately, and it's getting more and more rough as his points lead diminished as he was able to defend it so well. But unfortunately, alas, the rest of the field finally catching up to him. And he's just not consistent as he, sh he would like to be, I'm sure. But he's giving it what he can, and uh, I think it's going decent for him. I'm not going to say great, but it's going decent he can work with it uh so he's doing fairly all right and or not really not much to say on that a few cards not starting too well then last week's winner uh potato boy who uh led pretty much most of the race uh he's starting well today and there are not, not a lot of key takeaways uh there's 16 and Ray gore's trying to get his Trying to get some consistency going. LJ Toledo, one of the best of the track house cars as of late. That and uh, actually Patrick Miller probably being the other better one. And uh, there was another one. I can't remember. But Patrick Miller, Miller, Eric Monaco, Michael not doing so great. The track house cars, but we'll get that figured out at a later date. Seeing Kansas, Chicago Land or something. But uh, alas, hopefully this won't be such a rich fest. And Frank Chilton. Uh, still has no DNS to the season. Fun fact: uh, that was probably the closest he's ever came. But if that if that was not an overtime, uh, he definitely would have uh, fell to the manual DNF. Well, actually, no, he couldn't have because I didn't have the chat button. Now I do. So if you if you suck, you suck. So we're gonna go to some Dan, and we're gonna do the command here in just a few seconds. And it, again, uh, ten point bonus for him. Hopefully, it does him well. That was weird. Um, hit a pause button. Drivers, start your engines. Yeah, that was really weird. So what happened was I had a pause button on my keyboard and it like paused, literally, uh, 
everything. So I don't know if it showed on the recording or not, but uh, I had my game paused. I guess it didn't hurt anything, so I guess it's good. But anyways, we're green here. 31 laps is out there to be led. Points, points, points. Let's see what people do. Green flag in the air. Some damn with a great start. Not so much for Thunder 24 as it looks like Ian Styles may try to take advantage as well. Oh, send it up. Oh, 83 with an engine issue. Oh, bummers. Bummers to the 83. He is. Oh, and he causes a wreck. Big one in turn one. Caution's out. Nothing he can do. We are under caution for the incident with Thunder 24 fan with a f mechanical failure in turn one. That is... I haven't seen that in a hot minute. Unfortunate, too. They were not wanting that. And just right in front of Nimrod... Right in front of... Oh, this may have... Okay, so this definitely triggered the wreck. Looks like Ryan Cole got into the back of the... Uh, 18 of uh, Patrick Miller. Patrick got in the back of Frank Chilton, but Chilton was able to save it, and then Pat spun out. 71 involved, 33. The 3, I think 37 is all right. And something happened to the 29, 04, 83, of course. Nimrod just can't catch a break. Frey, zigzagoon in the wall, 93, man, not the way you want to start your race. I would imagine we don't have any DNFs at this point, but that did cause quite a few drivers some positions as the 83 had a failed piston, and we were talking about how the 18 of uh, Patrick Miller had a great starting spot, unfortunately had a pit, now he's got a damaged car, unfortunate for that team. Uh, they did not need that. And Zigzagoon, uh, whose mid-pack is now fairly last. And then Brock Nelson. 37 again just caught that. I, I just don't think this track's a strong suit for him. But he's been up there in standings. I wouldn't I wouldn't call it quits for him after this, though. He's he's definitely a decent contender. It's, this, it's, this track ain't for him. So, that just, that's not really else much to say there about that. So, sum the day in. Uh, we've seen this actually, I think... Ah. Was it last race he started to pull? I know he started to pull somewhere and led a few laps. And he's going to do that again here today and put him into a position to get into the round 16. Because when it comes to finishing positions, he's just not able to do it. And, you know, he may, may have found something. Just switched uh, manufacturers and really found his footing at the beginning of the season. But he might be finding that footing now. He almost is definitely a championship favorite last year. I think if he can get things going, he could definitely... I wouldn't say definitely, but could possibly get a good run and going. So well, hopefully that goes well. Oh yeah, I forgot I have my chat button. I'm gonna not this lap, next lap. Gonna pace minus, and we'll go to the green. Um, and again, a few cars in the back with damage. I don't really think we're gonna be doing manual D and uh, DNFs because track's short, fat. Oh, that three car would be. Uh, Definitely one on the chopping block, I'll say that much. <laughs> I don't think pace is such a huge thing here. Uh, we'll see how long this green flag run goes. I'll let it go three I'll let it go about three, four, maybe five laps before I check the uh, check the deal. So someday <laughs> just getting those laps led. See if the game says Alright, so game says we're going green this time regardless, so no need to pace minus here. I'll have to watch Ian Styles for a restart jump. Make sure he doesn't do that. That would be a... Or I wouldn't say restart jump. You can jump restarts, but just not be ahead the, on the restart zone. But yeah. Uh, turn one wreck caused by... Uh, the, re, uh, the real... Uh, the, what was his username? I can't remember. 83... Uh, Thunder 24 fan, so unfortunate. He's the only car out of the race due to that mechanical issue that happened. Unfortunately, no one else out of the race, but it did take out some cars from contention. Uh, bummer for them, though. It's, you start in front row, not much you can do there. Just sit and duck, trying to slow down. Unfortunate.
in styles is safe. So call that good. Just double check the just in case. Go back. Helicopter at the line. Oh yeah, he. Well, yeah, he's he's all right. Eric Monaco going for second here in the 48 car. I don't think he's going to get the run off the corner, but he's going to attempt it regardless. May open the door for Melinda Jones on the top. Not quite getting in. Missed the corner. He's going to allow the 58 to try to get a run. Four car Frank Chilton going around the 90. Frank lost a few, a few spots in that initial start and is trying to recover. He will get in front of the 90, leaving him over the gap between him and Azrael Dreamer. Now it's just about timing your pacing. Now passing on the bottom, I just only car I've seen do that successfully is Frank Shilton. We'll take a fast look at our fast left right now. Melinda Jones, the 58, running a very interesting line here on the top. Try to get a run, but Azrael with a good run there. I don't think quite was beneficial for Melinda there. But uh, trying something new for someone who's not running so well in standings. Uh, a little bit of a flex, but at the same time still uh, solidifying where you need to be. Shred, I think, could keep the points lead today. He's been passing some cars. He's up inside the top ten now. I think he definitely keep the points lead today after this. This kind of run. Space guides have been doing all right, but not. this is not where he wants. To, it shreds doing a little bit better, and then... Frank's not going to catch up enough, but Frank, Frank, Frank's consistent. Mr. Raw Pace. You know that 90 car may be off pace a little bit, or the, this 73 and the, the uh, 4 are really quick on the bottom. These Fords appear to be able to hold that, that bottom line just a little bit better than these other cars that we have uh, that move the 90 up there. This is for 8th. Got Potato Boy, he's looking to go back to back top tens here. And that 90 is going to also get pinched by the 99. Oh, 99 is going to go top. May, may go for more food up there. Ah, 90 enters high. Quite have the run. I think this may be hurting the 73 now a little bit. This is 90 is able to get around, and the 99 may file in as well. Saber Fox also trying to get inside the top 10. You got Ryan Cole up here, and uh, the 17 of uh, uh, of Byron Webb, who has had a lackluster season <laughs> for sure in that 17 car, trying to get a top 15 run going, which is good for what it is. He's he's not really in contention for anything good right now. Let's take a look on that three car who is fairly far back. Oh, these guys are fine. They ain't going there. There's not going to be any issues there. These guys are doing fine. Yeah. Um. So so far, green since the second restart, and that 45 took the lead off the uh, last restart and has been able to keep it to 63. Not maybe having a little bit of challenge from the 48, but these guys are just. I think they're starting to spread out a little bit, see who's faster. I think as this run goes on, we may see something different here. But I do not expect... Uh, I do not expect uh, things to... Well, yeah, these guys are starting to spread apart as some may go faster in certain runs. So well, let's see how these runs go. If we stay green, it's going to be definitely interesting to see how that affects the race. Now these lines are changed up by drivers. See Ian Stiles trying to enter a little bit higher there. Asriel trying to switch something up. Again, they haven't really ran up front all season. New Hampshire appears to be a track they're good at. Frank Chilt trying to pick his way around, but I will say these Fords seem a lot quicker than uh, other cars based on just pace and uh, being able to put those laps times together. Uh, then some of the Dan also pretty quick, but Ian Stiles just had that really good restart there and was able to capitalize. Melinda Jones trying to do a little bit error draft drag off the 48. Try something. Some of the Dan trying to time a pass. I don't know if 
I think he's quicker. It's just he's not a lot quicker where he can like make a pass instantly. It's going to take a very strategic move to make this pass. And if he can make the pass, it's uh, a little bit tight. It's gripped up a little bit. It's a little dark. 48 with an interesting line off of four, trying something new. Does not benefit nor, well, actually it does not benefit him, I'll say that much. These guys just not able to quite draft up to each other the way they'd like. That 48-5 able to pull away just a little bit. Seeing different lines being ran here with a 0-4 LJ Toledo. Trying to see what he can do with Frank Chilton here. Just not seeing a lot that can do. See the run this let this run play out and see what happens there. Because I don't see a lot of mistakes being made. I don't see a lot of pace dividends. I'm just not seeing a lot of these guys are like trying to time out this race and this faster cars, it's not it's not easy to pass here. So that might be another issue. Four and zero for up here. Interesting one by Toledo. Toledo, she's quick. Got an interesting line off the corner as well. Won't do much. Not much they can. Not able to quite get the run they want. I try to get underneath this four car there. Not quite. Not quite. Trying to time it right is so hard. They're gonna miss it there. Yeah, just can't quite get it, and that's for sixth place. They're trying to battle for these top five. Seem to be pretty comfortable where they're at. May, may not try to dig too far ahead. Again, gonna be ten laps to go this time. By may have just messed up the setup. Might be it. Nonetheless, though, Ian Styles looking very good right now. Uh, he could win this race. That forty, that that uh, sixty-three, just not quite what he what he was in qualify. Great race, though, nonetheless, for that sixty-three car. But Ian Styles has checked himself out just about here. And that forty-five car has just had a lackluster season as well. But he's just. Had a good restart, and uh, so far, that clean air has been benefiting him fairly well up here. So, I uh, don't think it's going to be much an issue for him to get this win, unless that 63 can find something different that, that 45 has. Seeing certain people try different lines at 75 specifically, and really playing around with the racing lines, seeing what they can do. They don't got a lot to lose in that 75 car. Rounds 58, 63, 48, and 45 do have a lot to lose, or a little bit, a little bit to lose nonetheless. Though 75 does not have a lot to lose, but they are having a great run today, though. <laughs> Top five run right now. And a Vince Freeze. That's a bummer. He's been evading the uh, DNF status past couple races and mechanical issue. He is going to find that 11 car, unfortunately. So that's two cars out of the race, both mechanical failures. Uh, one a Chevy, one a Dodge, so I don't believe it's going to be a manufacturer issue. Probably just two separate ins uh, issues that derive their. So they're just, just trying to find different lines. I just can't. I guess I messed up the setup again. 
I just can't really get nothing put together. Kind of like Phoenix a little bit. Sixty three has found a little bit of something again. I just that arrow wash is just so heavy. I don't think this nothing's gonna come from it. They were pulling away, but that is not now. It's got an interesting run here. I just don't think it's gonna stick though. Seventeen of Byron Webb, a move for twelfth place right now. It may be counterintuitive, however. Let's see. We're coming to the end of this race. Byron Webb, his teammate, just uh, had a mechanical failure, caused him to DNF. This team has really been trying hard uh, this season. Real fan and just. They just haven't really found it yet. <laughs> oh, 55 slid up there. I, might, uh, I pushed him down, but I think he's got it, yeah. 17 will get around 55 for 12th. 43 may try something as well. As the 45 is two laps away from quite possibly quenching his first win. He's pulled away from the 63. So 63 may have used up his stuff trying to cat, kind of time a pass. Now again, the setup ain't great, but come to the white flag here at New Hampshire. Dean Styles in the 45. He's got one more set of corners left. 63 ain't got much. Gonna try to dive bomb just a tad there. Scare him a little bit, but it ain't gonna be much because the 45 is gonna be able to come off turn four and win his first NCCRS race. Man, I already sucked. Oh well, live and learn. I don't got a clue what next race is, but uh, be there or be square. <laughs>